All right, I just want to do a quick little video of uh, day one of putting this uh, HE3D Delta printer together. Um, got the base done and some of the top done. Getting in those guys with a pain. It's kind of a guessing game a little bit with some of the screws and nuts and stuff you got to use, but anyhow. So. But to getting those steppers in was a pain, just because there's no space here to get your Allen wrench in there. Um, so I ended up, uh, what did I do? I ended up taking my Dremel and just the Allen wrench they gave me, I nicked off the edge of it, so it's a whole lot easier to get some space in there. It still takes forever. It still takes a while. I actually ended up um, putting a rubber band around this guy, and um, you know, if I held it just right, I could kind of just slide it you know slide it across the side and screw them in manually like that so some of them i was able to get pretty darn close and then others it didn't work so well but at least it you know helped take, save some time where where it could anyway so um i'm gonna keep on trucking um shout out to uh epic tech and uh gamers haven or heaven there um those guys have been answering questions a lot because they had the same printer and uh, uh they've been I've been pinging a whole bunch of questions off of them, but, uh, anyhow, obviously I still got a lot more to go, but it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, the, uh, the hot end that it came with is not like it is in the picture of originally. I think they obviously changed that out because I know, uh, Epic Tech ran into it, and I think uh, Gamers Heaven did too with the original, and they ended up just ordering new hot ends, but this one is different than what was, um, pictured online there, so... Maybe they swapped it out. We'll see how this one does. I may I may end up ordering one. I may not. We'll see. Um, Alright, I'll keep you guys posted as I go along.